Hi and welcome to Life Less Ordinary. It has been a very busy morning. It is our day off. We take Thursdays as our day off and we have done lots of things as a family outdoors because while it is uh, late July, it has been a very pleasant day. Uh, don't get, don't uh, think that just because I've got warm a warm jumper on uh, that you, that it is freezing cold is actually probably about 15 degrees uh, which is slightly unusual for this time of the year um, and I would have taken this off I just don't want to get sunburned. <laughs> uh, so what we've been doing outside today uh, is uh, a lot of pruning uh, of the fruit trees. A couple of fruit trees out the front still needed pruning uh, so the girls and I did that. Um, Salome added some more lettuce to her front garden and we put some covering over the top of that to try and protect it because when we've planted less lettuce before it's been eaten um, and not by us so we're hoping that this might um, alleviate that issue. Uh, Dean has been spending time with uh, Naam and Simeon uh, showing them how to use a chainsaw safely because uh, they've just got a part-time job or a casual job on the weekends um, uh, working with a property out at Sutton Forest uh, and uh, they'll be chopping a lot of wood and carting a lot of wood and things on that property so he's been teaching them how to use the chainsaw uh, safely uh, and the other thing is uh, we have moved all of the chickens around a little bit uh, and uh, in doing that we've noticed that there is a lot of um, uh, wood that needed um, burning. Uh, so so uh, Trinity and Tobias have been in charge of getting the bark and little twigs that are just floating around the yard uh, because we have had some fairly high winds. So they've been in charge of that and uh, just having a little campfire to burn some of that stuff off. Uh, so that's what's kind of been going on around the yard um, but what we've also been doing in the potage garden is um, we have planted some anemones in here some uh, uh, cream and white anemones in amongst the tulips that are here uh, pardon my very filthy fingers we've just been uh, digging stuff in and then um, uh, we uh, just pulled off. There was a few of these. Um, a few of the garlic were actually planted really, really close together. Um, so we just moved some of those, separated those just a little bit. Uh, we are watering because we're not forecast to have rain for a little while. So we've just been doing a little bit of watering. Uh, and then the last big thing that we've been doing is in this garden bed. I'll try and lift this up because we are watering it right at the moment. Uh, in this garden bed, this is the garden bed that we have been growing the lettuce, uh, but we've actually uh, planted more lettuce out um, all the way so that it is uh, fully planted out with lettuce to here. So before we had gotten up to here with lettuce um, and then when I was at the grocery, uh, not the grocery store, we were at the hardware store earlier this morning and there were actually some lettuce in the grow in the hardware store so i picked up some some more um of the diggers club heirloom and cos lettuce so that's in there and <laughs> some is trying to not get soaking wet um so what we have done is just set up a makeshift netting uh for that uh because we are again having issues with something eating it and whether it's the chickens that are flying out of their coop or birds uh we're just we would prefer to eat the lettuce than the birds or the chickens so uh we're netting that uh and we'll see how we go with that um i think that's pretty much all that we uh have planned for today because it's lunchtime and we're starving uh so i thought um it would be a good time to give you a quick catch up on what we're doing. Oh, the other thing, sorry, that we had been doing was uh, uh, we had a whole heap of manure uh, that was sitting in bags um, until we had gotten the new 
uh, bay for the compost area built. Um, it's now built, so we're just starting that compost bay off now. So we have one bay that is ready to go and be used to put out in the garden. We have one that is now, um, uh, it's been filled up. So we will leave that for a number of months and now we're about, we're just starting on this new bay. So we were filling that with some manure and we'll get green things um, and add that in over the coming couple of months. And we will have our own compost for our gardens rather than having to uh, pay for it to come in onto the property and have so many issues which we have been having with the compost so hopefully that alleviates that issue so thank you for joining us uh, in our life less ordinary